You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of APK Media Group, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County every day at 9 a.m. Southern living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to another edition of Good Morning Gwinnett. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, coming to you live from Gwinnett County, Georgia. Happy to be here with you today. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Hey, I just want to give a, a shout out over to, to Paris. Um, You know, we heard about the cathedral burning down yesterday, and that, that structure had been up since the 13th century. You know, that is a long time to have a building still standing, but you know, it just amazes me. I watch the History Channel a lot, and it just amazes me all of the wonders in the world that we just don't know about, things that have been around for a long time. So, you know, I want to give a shout-out to the Parisians over in Paris because um, I know that that is a structure that's really near and dear to their heart and revered by many around the world because it's been standing for so very long. The fire is under control right now, and they have vowed to rebuild. And so they're going to be doing... The, um, a fundraising campaign online, so I'm sure it's already started for anybody who wants to go out there and support and um, help rebuild that structure. You know, you can't erase uh, so many years of history with rebuilding, but you can keep it going for as long as you can. 13th century, that's a long, long time. Think about it. We're in the 21st century. We're almost in the 22nd century. That was a 13th century. That was a long time ago, but that fire is under control, and they will be doing a fundraiser to... Um, help it uh, help rebuild it and, and and make sure it lasts another 1300 years by that time we'll probably be living in space well i won't we we, we won't but somebody probably will because you know that's the that's the next big thing listen i'm going to give you a daily horoscope today brought to you by astrologer michael thiason he is the astrologer that brings you the daily horoscope i just read them i don't do them so we're going to kick it off today with aries Opportunities for advancement at work are apparent. Older family family members may try to put unreasonable demands on you. You need to distance yourself from the situation for a little while first. Listen, Aries, don't let older folks put the pressure on you to do stuff you don't really want to do. Say no. Just say no. Taurus, you are best to look into investments that will grow in value over an extended period of time. Your sensitive nature will allow others to read you well. Use your genuine warmth and compassion to win hearts. Okay, Taurus, be compassionate if you want to win some hearts today. Gemini, you can sort out any differences you have in an amicable amicable manner. Someone you live with will get angry if you are neglecting your duties. Your sensitive nature will allow others to read you very well. Okay, it's going to be a lot of reading going on. I see yesterday, I think it was a lot of, it was something erraticness going on today is look like people just reading everybody all right cancer talk about your intentions and confirm that you both feel the same way be sure to question any detail that you feel could leave you in a precarious position at a later date try to understand both sides of the issue before taking sides leo in return the satisfaction you get is enough for you. You may come down with minor infections if you have allowed yourself to get run down. Money-making ventures may just turn your life around. All right, listen, Leo, be careful. Don't run yourself down, and you may have some very, very good money-making ventures coming your way, which could turn, hopefully are good ones. They say money-making ventures could turn your life around. Now, I don't know, is that a good way or a bad way? You just say turn around. So anyway, be careful because I don't know which one it means. All right, Virgo, your tendency to make too much will end in fatigue. <laughs> Spend time with your lover today. Consider selling your homemade crafts at a flea market. You know, Virgos are pretty talented. My niece is a Virgo, and I swear she is, she just amazes me. She's ama- She amazes me because she's just really very talented. So, you know, if you got something to sell, the day would be to sell it. All right, check out the flea market. I'm going to go to a song, and I'll be right back to continue the next six horoscopes as I bring them to you today by astrologer Michael Thyssen. Today, April the 16th. All right, be right back. I like to move you close after waking up. Waiting by the phone I'm 
Welcome back to Good Morning Gwinnett. I'm your host, Orgy Bell Kearney. Listen, guys, you won't believe this, but you probably will. All right. Um, I was having a little bit of technical difficulties. Hold on. I'm coming back. I know I got to finish up the horoscope. I didn't get to the last six. Sometimes some things you just can't control. And right now, my computer wants to do some other stuff, and it's doing some other stuff. But while we wait on that, I just want to talk about um, what's going on. I am going to, if you're interested in augmented reality and you're located in metro uh, metro atlanta here i'm going to be going over to the uh chamber this morning after i finish the show they're going to be having an event today with Met- uh talking about virtual reality now i don't know exactly how that could fit into your business but i'm kind of excited about it because i think that um virtual reality and augmented reality and all that stuff is really cool and so the fact that you know i'm learning about it and and i'll and and, and you can Figure out how to use it in your business. So I want to know how to use it with my show. I haven't figured it out, but I'm going to know today. And also, there's a great opportunity for you to use it in education. So if you're an educator, you may want to think about that. But anyway, my system is back up. Thank you for being patient with me. Let's kick back off with Libra. Libra, get together with friends and do something entertaining, but not too expensive. Residential moves will be will also be advantageous for all. Do whatever your mate wants. It really doesn't matter as long as you are together. That's nice. My brother is moving, so I'm every time to talk about moves. I'm excited. He's moving to Georgia. Scorpio, not the best day for business trips. Avoid letting children and friends borrow. Listen, don't lend any money today, Scorpio. No friends, no children. Don't let any small misunderstandings get in your way. Sagittarius, ideas may sound good, but be careful if people are just looking for handouts. You could easily lose your temper at work. Don't push your opinions or ideas on others. You will have a problem holding holding on to your cash today Sagittarius be very careful hold on to the money girl hold on to the money I'm, I'm saying girl could be a guy could be a guy I'm, I'm killing you know I don't know maybe Capricorn plans to make physical improvements may lead to psychological changes too some plans plan some family outings travel will result in a new romantic attraction some new romance on the rise for you Capricorn Aquarius limitation could set it Limitation could set in if you have been expending too much. <laughs> Ooh. Someone you may, you like may be receptive and actively seeking your company. Love can be yours if you get out and about. Listen, Aquarius, you got to come from behind the computer. Get out and mingle if you're looking for love. My fellow fish, Pisces, do a little extra work at home. You need to concentrate on your business ventures more than on your relationship today. Problems with colleagues are likely. Oh, Lord, I don't need any problems. I don't need any problems. But, hey, that's it. So that's your horoscope for today, April the 16th, brought to you by astrologer Michael Fyerson. Let's move right along. We're going to give a shout-out to my People Helping People segment of the day. This is where I talk about a nonprofit doing great things um, in our county and around our county. Um, because without these people, a lot of things, uh, we, uh, don't get a chance to do. They do. And a lot of times it's stuff that that's near and dear to their heart, but it's things that are, that are really needed right here in the community. So it's always cool to, to see, um, to, it's always cool to see, you know, who's helping who. And sometimes, um, it's, a, I take, it takes me a minute to find somebody because it's, I'm in Gwinnett, even though we, there's a lot of people here, <clears throat> excuse me, even though there's a lot of people here, there's still, um, not a whole lot of nonprofits. So sometimes I'm going to have to step outside of the box a little bit. And today I'm going to be giving a shout out to, 
um, an organization called Tapestry. And what they do is they help uh, with domestic violence. That That is huge. You know, I um I interviewed a woman a couple of years ago and she, I mean, professional woman. Because here's the thing, domestic violence doesn't have a, a color. It doesn't have a size. It doesn't have a race. It just have a mean-spirited person who inflict pain on somebody else. But this woman was so, um, if you had seen her, she was a corporate woman. Um and I helped her write a book, actually. I helped her self-publish her book because, you know, that's what I do. I do a whole lot of stuff. And I help people start business. I help people write books. I help people launch video channels and YouTube channels and TV channels. I do all those things. But anyway, I helped, I helped her uh, self-publish her book. But when she told me her story, it was horrific. I'm talking about so bad. So we're sitting up there with the video crying everybody in the room is crying because her story was just I had never heard anything like it like you see that kind of stuff like on television but she told the story and I'm gonna move on but I just want to tell you this quick story she told the story about her husband how she loved her husband and he was a great man when they started out but he changed and um she said that um she was they were they lived in a big house they drove really fancy cars so on the outside looking in everything was great she said but on the inside Everything was awful. He would just beat her and fight her and things like that. So she said one particular night, um, they had had an argument, and she went to go take a shower. And she said she got out the shower, and the only thing she was able to do was put on her underwear. Not a top, not anything, just her underwear, her lower underwear. And she said he, he, I think he pushed her down the stairs in their home. But she was able to get up and run next door to her neighbor and she got close enough for the neighbors to hear her screaming and yelling, but he started dragging her back to the house and she was half naked. And she said, he said he was going to kill her. And she said the neighbors called the police and that's how she got away. And she never went back to him. But the, and the story is much longer, but it was horrific. Like the things he would do to her and, you know, and you know, the, the crazy thing is he passed away and she felt so much guilt because, um, they think he committed suicide um, because she was, you know, he was going to go to jail because the cops came and everything, but she was guilty because she said, maybe I should have stayed with him. He wouldn't have killed himself. And I said to her, yeah, but he would have killed you. So I say all that to say that there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of domestic abuse going on around the world. And this organization tapestry helps with that. It helps with, you know, anything that, is domestic violence, human trafficking. They got programs for men. They got programs for children. And you want to get involved and help them out. So if you want to get involved, you can go to their website. It's tapestry, not with a Y, but T-A-P-E-S-T-R-I dot org. Um, they, they're looking for volunteers. They're looking for community partners. Um, if you want, if you're a law enforcement, social service provider, they can use your help. You can donate in-kind donations. They, they need your help. They need your help, and they're doing some great work over there. And and right now, they do trainings. They have events coming up. I mean, it's just a lot. And human trafficking is another huge, 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 um, huge problem. And it's it's just sad, you know. But anyway, for more information, call them four zero four two nine nine two one eight five. Again, that number is four zero four. Two nine nine two one eight five, or if you just want to go online and donate, you don't want people to know who you are. You can go to Tapestry, and that's T A P E S C R I dot org, um, and make your donation there. And if you want to volunteer, you know, give them a call because they could use your help. These type, these type of organizations could always use extra help. Any type of nonprofit, I know they can. Listen, I'm gonna go to another song. I'll be right back after this song to continue giving you the rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. <laughs> to 
Welcome back to Good Morning Gwinnett. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Listen, the Chamber of Commerce is about to get a new CEO. Nick Messino, Chief Economic Development Officer for the Partnership Gwinnett, which is the Chamber's economic development arm, will take over the reins as of uh, July 1st. Current CEO Dan Kaufman uh, re- announced in January that he was retiring from the position after six years. Um, the Chamber has conducted a rigorous search for for Dr. Kaufman's successor, and the results uh, of those interviews came very capable people, but Nick emerged, and so congratulations, Nick, for being the new CEO of the Gwinnett Chamber of Commerce. Um, you've done great work at the, the uh, partnership, had you not, because you wouldn't have gotten this, this position, so congratulations on that, and uh, congratulations on um, Dan Kaufman for serving for six years. I know the Chamber was happy to have you, but now it's time to start a new chapter, and I know you're going to enjoy your retirement. Gwinnett Library implementing new community engagement systems. Um, I love the libraries too. Like, there's another thing um, that they got a lot going on. The Gwinnett uh, County Public Library System recently became one of the first library systems in the United States to adopt a new tool designed to help librarians better meet the communities they serve. Um, OCLC announced Gwinnett's library system will begin implementing the OCLC WISE program. OCLC officials taunted the program. Uh, WISE program as the first community engagement system for U.S. public libraries in a statement on his website. Uh, Georgia Gwinnett County Public Library is excited to play a huge role in implementing this um, these uh, this uh, system. So we're going to see how that's going to work out. The, uh, I lost my spot here. <laughs> forgive me, y'all. Forgive me. You know, sometimes you get brain freeze brain freeze. Um, they're excited to play a part in the ongoing development of what promises to be a revolutionary revolutionary approach to library autom- automation and engagement. One that focuses on customer, not collection. Um, Gwinnett Public Library, uh, Charles Spiro said that in a statement. So they got a new system that they're putting in place that's going to help with um, community engagement. Because a lot of times I think people go to the library, they go for books, but you can't get a book um, if you have a, 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 a debt on the books. And the, thing, the thing is, you shouldn't be able to get a book if you have a debt on the thing. But sometimes your kids lose the book. It's, and I remember this. I remember this. My, my kid is grown right now, but I remember looking for a book one time. And I don't know where the book was. I mean, and it, it was missing for days. And it was somewhere in her room, hidden under something. So you go to the library to get a book, and now you got to pay fees. And sometimes you have people just, they're just not customer focused. You know, they just kind of have a bad attitude and you know the only thing they care about is you owe us money and they don't care about nothing else so um they, this new system is going to help with that help automate things 
help put um help with community engagement, which is cool. Uh, let's give a shout out to Parkview grad Carly Kahn's named head women's basketball coach at Sanford. I was at a, I was over at Parkview a few few weeks ago doing career day. That school has thirty two hundred kids. That is a lot of kids. But Carly is a graduate there, and she's going to be the head basketball coach at Sanford University, which is cool. So congratulations, Carly, Carly, to that uh, very prestigious position. Um, know you're excited about that. She is going to be coaching uh, women's college. Um, basketball and college ranking college now ranks in the NAACP division one level. So that's a, that's big. So for those of you who don't follow sports, whenever it's division one, it means the top of the top, you know, my nephew played division one football, um, for Vanderbilt. And, and I learned about that cause we are kind of like a sports family, more, more football than basketball, but cause he played basketball too. He played basketball in high school and since he was a little boy and the other one does the same thing. Okay, so the Parkview grad has been named head coach at Sanford, and that's in Alabama. She replaces longtime head coach Mike Morris. Now, this is cool. Not only was she named head coach, but she's also replacing the guy. So, congratulations again, Carly. Carly Combs, for your uh, achievement. I'm sure that they're going to be happy to have you there to show off your skills and talents. Um, and that's always a good thing. Now, this is really, really cool. There's a Mill Creek student who was surprised that um, he won a scholarship for a painting, a painting that he did. I mean, you got to think about this. A $6,000 scholarship, you had to see, um, I mean, not he, it's a girl. You had to, I wish I could have saw that person, that kid's face. Because when you think about getting paid for something that you love to do, kid is six. Probably 15, 16 years old and won a scholarship, $6,000 scholarship. But let me tell you something. With the expensive education right now, a $6,000 scholarship can go a long way. And so congratulations to America Garcia for winning this $6,000 scholarship for a painting that you painted. I mean, that's that's wonderful. That kind of gives you a testament of the things you can do moving forward in your life. You know, if you can get paid right now as a kid for doing something that you truly love, and it's probably just something that, that she does that comes natural. You know, it's not like she puts a lot of effort into it. It's not It's not like us. We're business people, so everything we do is about business. And so sometimes we just don't know how to have fun. But when you do things that you love just because you love them, it comes across a little bit different. If you are looking to become a, a citizen of the United States, the N-400 Citizenship Application Assistance Program is going to be taking place this morning. Um, you can still get there. It starts at 10 o'clock to 12.30 p.m. You're going to get help with becoming a citizen. If you're a green card holder, you got to be a green card holder. You want to become and you want to become a citizen and know all your rights. In partnership with Gwinnett County Public Library, the Latin American Association and Asian American Advance and Justice, Atlanta will provide qualified legal representations um, to aid in filling out the U.S. citizen's application form N-400. Certain applicants may also be eligible to have the government filing fees waived. In order for you to find out more about that, it's going to be taking place today, 10 a.m. to 1230 at the Gwinnett Public Library in Lawrenceville. Um, That's 1001 Lawrenceville Highway, Lawrenceville, Georgia. It's free. It's open to the public. Um, And the reps are going to be there, and it's going to be on a first-come, first-served basis. So make sure you go there and get your information um, handle, get your question answered, and get assistance with get, getting this paper filled out. If you got inf- if you need more information, you can call 770-978-5154. Again, that number is 770-978-5154. This is your opportunity to get your questions answered about the things you need to do to become a citizen um, of the United States. But you got to make sure you have your green card. Make sure you take all your paperwork that you need to take, any IDs, whatever you need to do. Take that stuff so they can help you right there on the spot. And you get to help them fill out the N-400 for um, citizenship. Be right back after this song, y'all. <laughs> Watch me break it
I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Listen, guys, I got to tell you something. I love music. I love, I love music. And it's so funny because I'm sitting here thinking, man, I should put out a call for artists who have, you know, who looking for some airtime to play their music. So if you are a recording or artist and you have a song that you would like me to play on the show, you can email me your MP3 mp3 to audrey at goodmorninggwinnett.com email me your mp3 audrey at goodmorninggwinnett.com and i'll take a listen if it fits in the show i'll play it on the show i love music i'm sitting here like you know bouncing my head and stuff it's so crazy but anyway um gwinnett technical college is opening its greenhouse doors to the community for its annual plant sale spring plant sale um, Gwinnett Tech Horticulture students will be available to answer questions about gardening and to assist you in choosing the best hanging baskets, perennials, annuals, and potted plants and trees and shrubs. So if you want to go out there and get you some plants, this is a good day to do it. The plants are really, the prices are great too. They got, uh, the prices start from $1 all the way up to $100. So, and they will be accepting cash and credit cards and checks. Not a lot of people accept checks. But anyway, if you want to go out there to that cell, the doors are opening right now. And they're going to be open until 4 p.m. today for the annual plant sale. Go out there, get your plants. It's going to help uh, with the program as well. For more information about that, you can call 770-962-7280. Again, that number is 770-962-7580. And also... If you just want to go and stop by, it's going to be at Gwinnett Technical College, located at 5150 Sugarloaf Parkway, Building 600, and that's the greenhouse. Again, the address is 5150 Sugarloaf Parkway, Building 600, and that is the greenhouse you're going to be looking for. Go out and get you some plants. It's supposed to be a beautiful day today. We had some rough weather over the last over the weekend, but now we got beautiful weather. It was a little chilly yesterday. I went outside. I'm like, man, it's a little chilly out there. Listen, I talked about earlier learning about augmented reality and I forgot to give you the address. So that's today at the Gwinnett Chamber at 1130 and that's located at 6500 Sugarloaf Parkway in Duluth. If you want to learn more about uh, augmented reality and how it can fit into your, your business, how it can fit into your educational system, come out today, 1130, the Gwinnett Chamber, 6500 uh, Sugarloaf Parkway and check that out. It's pretty cool and it's free. Um... Google my business and local SEO just yesterday, just yesterday, I was working on my Google, my business listing. Now here's the thing. When you learn how to make sure people can find you inside the search engines, you're, you're one step ahead of the people behind you. And what's cool about this, if you don't know exactly how to get started, what to do, there's going to be a meetup tonight talking ex- about that very topic. Google my business and local SEO. That is huge, y'all. That is huge for moving your business forward. And so you may want to come out and check that out tonight. Um, it's going to be located at Atlanta Tech Park, 107 Technology Parkway, 
Northwest and Peachtree Corners. Um, I just set mine up yesterday, literally. Now I'm waiting for Google to go ahead and do whatever inspections or they, things they have to do because I know for me, I need to be found because I know I, I do the show, but I also offer consulting services about starting a podcast and, you know, things like that and how to get you up and running. So I need people to know that if they want to start a podcast, they can reach out to me because I can help them. So what I did was I make sure that I, I did my Google My Business listing, which adds to your local SEO. So that's going to be 7 o'clock tonight, 7 to 9 p.m. Get there on time because I was at Atlanta Tech Park a couple weeks ago and the room was packed but I'm always early so I had a great seat um Atlanta Tech Park 107 Technology Parkway Peachtree Corners Georgia you got give your business an edge learn how to figure out how to do SEO which stands for search engine optimization and you want to know how to do it locally especially if you're a local business even if you're outside of Gwinnett County but you have a business you can learn how to do local SEO for your business too. You may not be able to come here with us, but check it out. Um, go online and look for or- other organizations in your area that's doing local SEO. If you don't know how to do it, no one know how to do it, hire somebody. People are there all the time waiting to help you uh, grow your business. Trust me when I tell you, there's tons of them out there. Just put in, how do I grow my business? I'm sure somebody's going to pop up in your area. All right, there's another event going on tonight, 50 plus ways to keep the, your cash flowing. If you want to know how to keep your cash flowing, there's a, a um, an event tonight happening. Um, it's going to be, they don't have a, they don't have a, a location. It's in Lawrenceville. Let me see if they got a telephone number. They don't have a, well, they don't have a location. Unfortunately, I can't give you that information. But anyway, maybe next time they'll put all the right information here and I can give them a shout out and you guys can go. All right, moving right along. Stress and hormones. Listen, when you get to be a woman of a certain age you start having all of these strange things that happen things that you just don't know why they happen they just happen so if that's you you're having problems with stress and hormones you got gut dysfunction and chronic inflammation and toxic chemicals just overwhelming you there's something for you tonight and it's free if you want to know how to empower yourself and and take back your life and over because let me tell you hot flashes and and knee aches and all kinds of crazy thing that goes on we need to know how to combat them so there's a lecture tonight that will focus on stress hormones and Hashimoto's I don't know what that is and will include the opportunity to book an initial appointment with the doctor so if you want to know about more about that and how to combat this stuff um you want to check it out you can go tonight it's going to be located at the epicurean cafe at 3579 west lawrenceville street in duluth starts at six o'clock ends at 8 30 but i suggest you get there on time because um the last seminar filled up because there are a lot of people who suffer from all these different things because these problems are just weighing you down and you drag through the day trying to get right you're feeling foggy and drained and don't know what the heck is going on and it could be your hormones it could be stress because stress is stress is a monster it causes a lot of problems that people just don't know about so if you want more information about how to combat this stuff and you and you want to feel better about yourself this this event is bring, brought to you by holistic medicine specialists in atlanta um, specialist, and it's going to be tonight, 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., and it's going to be located at the Epicurean Cafe, 3579 West Lawrenceville Street in Duluth. Go on out there, get yourself fixed on up so you can feel better. Um, it's allergy season. I'm sure they're probably going to talk about that. The other day, I was just, like, feeling crappy because my allergies was acting up. My nose was itching. Just a lot of crazy stuff because it's allergy season. That's what happens in allergy season. And so if you want to know how to combat all this stuff naturally without a whole lot of medicine, if you're like me, you don't like to take a whole lot of medicine. I, let me tell you something. I drunk some black seed oil this morning with honey and vinegar. Well, I've been drinking it. My mom and I have been drinking it since last week. I don't know. I feel great. I don't know if it's a black seed oil or not. I just feel great. My husband said to me, you act like you high. It was crazy. I was like, I'm not high. I don't do drugs, but I feel great. So to him, it was a little strange. Like you acting a little strange, but I felt great. Now, I don't know if it's a black seed oil or not. I just know that I feel good. And my mom said she's feeling better because she has COPD. And so one of the things that black seed oil is supposed to do is get rid of inflammation and mucus and things like that. So... I still got allergies. Didn't get rid of that yet. My nose is a little clogged up, but I do feel great. Listen, I'm going to be go to a song. I'll be right back to, come, to finish off the show, give you the rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Be right back. Feel 
just right Just look at that bright light Believe in the magic And we can save you from your past This bond is always gonna last When nothing else makes sense, just dance What you gonna do? Back to Good Morning Gwinnett. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Listen, today is Technique Tuesday, and if you are looking to transition out and become and wear your hair natural, so this is kind of geared towards African Americans because we perm my hair and do all kind of things to our hair, but a lot of us um, may want to go natural like me. Like, I haven't done a perm in my hair, so I'm trying to go natural. If you saw me now, be like, what is wrong with her hair? I'm going to take it loose. It's braided up right now, but I'm going to take it down because I'm, I want to go natural. So if you want to know how to manage natural hair or if you want to fi- uh, figure out how to go natural, Technique Tuesday is a live ha- natural hair tutorial. It's going to be happening tonight at 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. And it's for those of you who want to know how to manage natural hair, what products you use on natural hair, which will be me. So when I leave the Chamber of Commerce today, I have to pass right by this location. So I'm going to stop in there and find out about what I need to do. But if you are a stylist, um, whether you what whether you don't style African American hair or not, but you're thinking about, you know what, how can I serve the African American community? Natural hair is huge for us right now. A lot of people are going natural, and I'm thinking real hard about doing it. I, I, I my hair is braided right now. But here's the thing, I don't know what to do. So this class would be perfect for me, but I'm going to stop there on my way back because I have another event at 6.30. They're going to be doing a live tutorial today about how to uh, manage natural hair, how to go natural if you want to go natural, what products to use. It's going to it's gonna talk about how to style your hair naturally, things like that. And this is huge for somebody, especially people like me. Like I can't, 
I cannot cut all my hair off and just wear like the little short air for it. That's not my thing. But I do want to have like cute, a cute hairstyle. So I don't know what to put in my hair. I called my daughter. I was like, hey, listen, what do I get? And she told me some things to get. But she came over yesterday. She's like, what are you trying to accomplish with your hair? I said, well, I want to have like, you know, like the curly, kinky kind of look. And she was like, okay, well, let me know if that works out for you. If not, I'll come back over and do some things for you. But there's some ladies over at Kinks and Curls Natural Hair Boutique. They can tell you exactly what to do. And if you want to know what to do about going natural or serving your clients with natural hair or adding another stream of income to your business because you want to now uh, cater to those people who have natural hair, this is an opportunity for you to learn what to do. 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. It's going to be located at Kinks and Curls Natural Hair Boutique, located at 3157 Sugarloaf Parkway. It is a $10 charge. It's not free. $10 charge, but I be- I believe it's going to be worth your, your $10 because, one, if you don't know how to do your hair um, and you're trying to do natural hair like me, it'll be probably perfect for you to do. I don't even know what products to put in my hair. So just to be able to go in there and just find out, hey, what products should I put in my hair? I don't even know what my texture is in my hair. I just know that right now I look like... um. I'm going outside to pick some cotton, you know, which is, which I look crazy right now. I won't look like that in about 10 minutes from now when I'm done the show, but I look like that now. Um, again, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., Kings and Curls Natural Hair Boutique, 3157 Sugarloaf Parkway. There's a $10 charge. Go on out there and figure out how to get this natural hair thing going so you can look beautiful all summer long and natural with no chemicals, which is what I'm striving for. I'm, I'm on this health kick of being healthy. You know, I've lost over a hundred pounds. You know, I'm, it's, I'm trying to be a better me. I got braces in my mouth. I talk about that all the time because I'm always getting tied tongue when I'm trying to talk, especially because I talk fast. So my braces get stuck, but I'm just trying to be the best me I could be. And, um, that means being healthy and beautiful inside and out all at the same time. Hence the black seed oil and the burdock root and the apple cider vinegar all these things is helping me be a better me for me a better me for me because that's important to me now if you want to have some fun tonight there is a company it's called ibiza ibiza they are having it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun water guns water balloons lead balloons foam sticks and beach balls tonight that sounds like a lot of fun. They're going to have a phone party. It's the Ibiza first annual phone party tonight at by Ibiza Lounge. Oh, that's nice. It's a lounge. Okay. By Ibiza Lounge. They suggest that you wear um, swimwear is recommended. They're going to have water guns, water balloons, foam sticks, beach balls, and, of course, a lot of foam. So it's going to be a phone party. That is going to be tonight from 10 p.m., Ooh, this is like this for the grown and sexy. This is not for the children. Sounds like it looks sounds like fun, but it is is not for the children. From ten a from ten p.m. to three a.m. It's only for the grown folks, y'all. And you need to reserve a table. It sounds like you need to reserve a table to do so. You can call six seven eight six six five zero five two zero again to reserve your table for tonight because it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Water guns, water balloons, foam sticks, beach balls, and a lot of foam. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. 678-665-0520. Again, that number is 678-665-0520. You need to reserve a table. It's going to be located at 1220-4500 Satellite Boulevard. It's going to be located at 4500 Satellite Boulevard. They got two addresses in here. Tonight, 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. If you got to go to work, this may not be the party for you. Uh, but if you don't have to go to work tomorrow, or if you don't mind just getting a little wet and then go to work, well, that didn't, that didn't sound right. But anyway, tonight, a phone party at Ibiza Lounge, 4500 Satellite Boulevard in Duluth. Reserve your table, 678-665-0520. All right, that brings me to the end of the show, but let me go give you a little bit of inspiration before I go. I like to do this because I feel like this is a great way to um, to, to shut it out. Every day brings a new chance to make great choices. Let me say that again because that is so powerful. Every day brings a new chance to make great choices. And here's the thing. Whatever happened yesterday happened yesterday. If you made a bad choice yesterday or a bad decision, that was yesterday. Leave yesterday in the past. Focus on right now. Don't worry too much about the future because we can't control any of that stuff just in case you haven't noticed yet. We just don't have that type of control. you know. And today is a, is a new day. If you made a bad choice yesterday, make a new one today. A new, better one. Don't beat yourself up about something that happened yesterday because you can't change that. 
There's no need to focus on that and put all your attention on something that you cannot change. You can't change yesterday. If we could, everybody be time traveling, go back to change some stuff. I know I would because I made some really bad choices when I was younger. Heck, I made some really bad choices probably last week, but I can't go back and change that. So I'm not going to beat myself up about that and neither should you. So listen, every day is a great day. Every day brings a new chance to make great choices. I'll be back again tomorrow, God willing. Listen, if you missed the episode of the show, go over and check it out at goodmorninggwinnett.com and share it with your friends. The apps are almost ready. to The Android app is ready, so go to the website, and you're going to see available on Android. Click that, download it to your phone so you never miss an episode. Take me wherever you go around the world on your cell phone because you can. That's that's the wonderful thing about technology. I can be with you on your cell phone no matter where you are. Here's the funny thing. You may be in your car driving, and you can't get me, but if you plug your cell phone into your aux drive, you can get me wherever you are if you have our apps on your phone. So check out the um, website, goodmorninggwinnett.com. Add my app to your phone. iPhones, we're coming. I have an iPhone, and the app is not even ready because Apple got all these security measures in place, and I can't blame them for that. But it's holding up my app. I've been trying to get my app in the app store for three weeks now. It's crazy. Um, but we're coming, Apple. We're coming, Apple users. Right now, if you got an Android phone, you can't download the app. Go over to Good Morning with Net. Check it out. Download the app. Listen to us on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you find us. Listen to us. The goal this year is to get 1 million subscribers and or 1 million downloads. It's free. doesn't charge you a thing. doesn't cost you anything. Just download and support. Share the show with your friends and family, colleagues, and your church members, whoever. Because I want to get to that goal. You know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And I still got eight months left to get there. Love talking to you guys. I'll be back again tomorrow, God willing. Until next time, make it a great day. Bye now. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in daily at 9 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you miss an episode, go to www.goodmorninggwinnett.com to catch up. If you like this episode, go ahead and subscribe to the show now and share it with your friends.